Hi everyone, I want to talk to you about the Configuration Analyzer for Protection Policies and Exchange Online Protection and Office 365 ATP, or now Microsoft Defender for Office 365. So this tool is rather new and it's built right in and I'll post a link to the documentation in the video description. But if we go out to the Office 365 Security Compliance Center at protection.office.com slash configuration analyzer or on the left side under threat management, click on policy and then click on configuration analyzer, you will see something that looks like this. If you remember the Orca tool, and I'll put a link to the video description right up above, you can watch later if you want. This is gonna be similar to the Orca tool. It's gonna go through and basically give me recommended best practices for anti-spam, anti-phishing, anti-malware, ATP safe attachments and safe links policies. And so here you can see what that looks like. Now. As I go through each one of these, over in the far right, I can see the current configuration and I can see any kind of recommendations. So for this first one, I currently have it set to move to junk email folder. However, the recommendation for Microsoft is to quarantine the message. That way the user never has the chance to launch the message from their junk email folder. Makes sense. So if I click on adopt, it will give me a little warning here that I can then, whoops, that I can then go out and uh, actually make the change. So I'm just gonna click on adopt and click on confirm and it's going to let me know that the success, that the recommendations were adopted and then I can move on to the next one. So as we go through this, you get the idea, I can read about the item. Uh, for this one, it's if email is sent by an impersonated user, then my current configuration is do nothing. The recommendation is quarantine the message. Makes sense. I'm gonna click on adopt, tell it to confirm the change and now it's gonna make that change. So this is pretty awesome. Again, it's a best practices analyzer in my opinion. And this is a great way for you to just get a printout of what your current config is and then what the recommendations are. Now there's another tab up here for configuration drift analysis and history. So as I make changes over time, those will start to be posted here. Okay, as you can see, this is pretty straightforward but extremely powerful. So go out there, give it a shot. Hey, let me know what you think. Put in the comments down below. Hit me up on LinkedIn or Twitter. Let's talk about it. All right, folks, hope you found value in the video. We will see you in the next one. Take care.